La responsabilité sociale social responsibility is often analyzed as uh, really a game of uh, players assigning contracts. But I want to tell you that there is another idea we need to understand which institutions are hidden behind this uh, CSR movement. Now, let's look back. What are the characteristics of capitalism in this approach, in the contralistic approach, that of Polanyi? Capitalism, to function, needs to uh, feed the capital, the equity, with a continuous flow of goods, with the manpower, natural resources, goods driven, derived from nature, and financial flows to develop investment. These three elements work nature, money are not goods, men were not produced to be sold, the land did not wait for capitalism to exist, and money is based on social consensus that have nothing to do with merchandising. Those are not goods, and there is therefore space for institutionalization that should be occupied and held. If we don't hold on to this space, Politi politicians will forget about the institutional dimension, and Karl Polanyi considers that we are going towards a form of totalitarianism. I quote, when European democracies collapsed, he who refuses to acknowledge that he only acts with the love of profit would have uh, looked like a fool and an immoral being. The reality of a market society is therefore perceived in totalitarianism. Now, this is a strange combination of words because normally market goes with democracy, but with Polanyi, there is more to it than meets the eye. So how do we build an ethical echelon in capitalism? According to Jürgen Habermas, a German philosopher, a modern one, we can point out three elements. Individuals who have different opinions, diversity of opinions, and don't want to discuss. Formally equal individuals when there is no discussion and a long-term time period whereby the discussion will lead to a collective action. We cannot revise the world between two underground stations and we cannot change the world if we work in a company for a very long, limited period of time with a short-term contract. After the, war, the World War, there was a first CSR version based on no ethics in the company, Taylorism, and social rights benefits distributed to the workers. The first form of CSR was based on the fact that uh, financial pressure on companies was uh, hidden under the bushel, the merchandisation of money, and also guaranteed outlets for the company through Keynesian approaches and because everything was to be rebuilt because of the war, and uh, unlimited natural resource exploitation before manpower working, there was slavery, and also the same way uh, nature had been plundered in the colonies. Therefore, this is a new deal to demerchandise work, limited duration contracts, and limited uh, duration of uh, working life, uh, pensions, and uh, wages calculated in away from the market. People became citizens, and this is not guaranteed in a non-institutionalized form of capitalism. The first version of CS of capitalism, and for capitalism based on corporate social responsibility in an institutionalized way, is based on the fact that social partners will guarantee that everybody has a right to his own opinion. There is also the long-term horizon, for instance, uh, perennial plans, and finally the idea according to which the GDP is uh, helping to meet emancipation objectives which are common. But these conditions are gone. In the 70s, a new form of capitalism emerges with finances liberalization. There is international competition and Keynesian uh, policies uh, to support demand are 
abandoned, people become aware of environmental problems and political problems because this is the end of uh, former colonies, although the former colonies are sometimes still being exploited, but not in a mechanical way. Environmental issues appear and people want to preserve their own health and the environmental health. Three different pressures are therefore exerted on the company, and the company turns to the labor market, questioning the uh, for this deal and asking for more flexibility. Every day, we hear people asking for more flexibility in life and the labor market in particular. But there must be a counterpart, and the counterpart is that uh, discussions uh, start in the companies. This is the new CSR, the new deal for CSR. Workers re-merchandised, but the workers become citizens of their own company. They uh, become uh, co-workers, they no longer workers in the company. This new CSR version will lead to a new approach which is massively disseminated uh, in universities and in the media. Now that workers are company citizens, there is uh, no room for public regulation. Freeman says that uh, stakeholders, those people who represent an interest for the company, and this, there is no limitation here, so it could be just about anybody, stakeholders can meet their needs with voluntary agreements, all transactions involving customers, suppliers, uh, workers, and uh, people who provide funds or stakeholders accepting their responsibilities or motivated by values rather than profit, we had not realized. But in the company, the Greek city was there. We had not seen it. We just need to allow it to function. Now, this approach, as you well understood, is naive. Naive because behind the apparent freedom for workers, we still find a hierarchy whereby people are not allowed to express themselves freely. And we all know that workers are obsessed by the danger of being unemployed, which means that they're not free to express themselves or negotiate as they would like to. Alain Supio, who uh, specializes in the labor law, says that uh, the all contractual system is an illusion. Society contractualization is the symptom of a hybrid being created between the law and the contract and reactivation of medieval feudal habits to create a social link. Behind the CSR, we find industrial paternalism hiding. So because CSR is an important regulation state, stake, the previous regulation system uh, was abandoned, we need to uh, give the stakeholders new weapons and we need to institutionalize a movement which was uh, wrongly considered and hastily considered as uh, totally spontaneous. We need to revise uh, the uh, company rules. Uh, we need to uh, implement uh, social and environmental standards binding for the company in order to keep the uh, a social dialogue alive within the company, and by giving the uh, stakeholders new weapons, the CSR can become a way to provide new collective meaning to economic activity and the accumulation of production tools.